Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romney. Today, we're going to talk about narcissists and religion. Please subscribe to this channel. New videos twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. Hit the bell. You'll be a subscriber. Please tell us new video ideas. You can drop them right here under this video. And also, we are trying to do live streams, Instagram live streams and, and YouTube live streams every Tuesday. That's what we're doing. This, the ones we've had so far have been amazing. Comments, questions from all over the world. Everyone's learning from each other. It's a really fantastic community. So please keep tuning in. So let's talk about narcissists and religion. This is not religion specific. It can be any religion from major world religions to whatever religion they've made up. This is a question that's come to us from several of our YouTube subscribers, several people on Instagram, and I've gotten several emails about this. They will say, it is astonishing to us that a narcissist will hide behind religion. Let me tell you this, it happens all the time. And what's interesting is one of the professions that has the highest rates of narcissism is the clergy. It's a very powerful position when you think of it. And while we'd like to think that anyone who's devoted themselves to spirituality and faith is full of empathy, unfortunately, the power part is what throws that off. Obviously, there are amazing, devoted people who have devoted their lives and their careers and their calling to their religion. Bravo. But, and this isn't just about clergy. This is about how do they use religion. So let's think about it. In some ways, religion's a battle you can't win. It's really hard to fight the battle of, well, that's what God said. Like, okay, I guess, I guess, you know, checkmate. Not much I can say past that. But here's what narcissists often do. And this is what, to me, is so horrifying. They use religion as one more tool to rationalize their narcissistic behavior. Either they'll go real simple with it. Well, that's what God says. Or they will do things for whatever religious community they're in, a church, a temple, a mosque, you know, whatever they call their particular religious community. And they will really be the big man around church, temple, mosque, whatever their religious community is. They'll be that or big woman. They'll be that person highly devoted to the church, uh, uh, an elder, a deacon, uh, uh, a senior member of the, the whatever that religious community is. They'll be in, involved in the choir. They'll be involved in whatever board of directors or what there may be with a religious community. And that's one way they can all but guarantee that they trick everyone. But he's such a holy man. He's so involved in his church. Or she's such an amazing woman. She never misses a Sunday at church. The hypocrisy is galling. And what's angering and devastating to me is people who actually do, in a meaningful way, take their faith seriously. So they actually t listen, maybe with a heavier ear, to other people from faith, their faith-based community. And that's where a narcissist is often able to take advantage. Like, well, they're so devoted to the church, so how can they be a bad person? They must be great. I have seen narcissists use religion to make excuses for everything from infidelity to stealing money to lying to twisting the truth to gaslighting you name it religion ends up becoming the basis of that it's a it's it's a tricky problem in our modern age because in many ways our hands get tied to even comfortably talk about it People are like, well, I really, you know, I don't feel comfortable calling someone out on this. This is their faith. And they try to be open-minded about it or say, that I'm not in their faith-based community. I don't, it's not mine to counteract. And in some ways, they use their religion as a suit of armor to protect them. If somebody tries to call them out, they'll be like, well, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very holy person. I'm a very spiritual person. And that takes us to a second topic, which are people who walk around calling themselves deeply spiritual. There are a lot of people out there who may not ascribe to a traditional religious canon, but they call themselves spiritual. And whether that manifests as yoga or intentions or some other form of spiritual chanting, they will do all that spiritual stuff and then have no problem 
turning around, lying to their family, cheating on a spouse, and doing other deceitful things that hurt co-workers, friends, and family. But then they'll fall back on how spiritual they are. And then sometimes they'll use that spirituality or religion as a way to get out of it. You know what? I've done wrong. I am now. I have found the right path. As though they're finding their right religious path is an excuse for the wrongs that they have perpetrated. There is no reset button on life. When you hurt someone, the only reset button there is, is to take real responsibility for it and not make up some kind of excuse. Well, I'm going to go return to my spiritual core and leave out the genuine apology. When somebody is evidencing the patterns associated with narcissism, the lack of empathy, the entitlement, the admiration seeking, the arrogance, the, the controlling nature, the superficiality, the grandiosity, when they're evidencing that, I don't care how godly they say they are. If anything, it makes me even more suspicious. Judge a person by their behavior, by their actions. Don't, don't let them off the hook because they give a really cleverly crafted story about how they're so close to God or whatever religious canon they come from when their lives are in violation of that, those religious rules of order, or they say one set of rules applies to them, and then they take those very, very stringent religious rules and they apply them to everyone else, take pause, take a minute, and take note. Re Narcissists have this remarkable capacity of using anything as a rationalization, and religion is no exception. I absolutely applaud people who integrate their faith into their life in a very healthy way. And I'm respectful of all denominations and faiths. The one thing I'm not respectful of is people who use religion, something that's such a core and important thing to many other people, who use it as an excuse and as one more weapon of hypocrisy as they go through the world and hurt other people. If you've had experiences with somebody who said who really was that person, that self-righteous, hyper-religious or hyper-spiritual person who has no problem turning around and hurting you, lying to you, cheating on you, if you feel comfortable, let us know if that happened to you because it's happened to many people who've gotten in touch. It's not okay. Thank you again for tuning in. As always, please subscribe to this channel. More, we, as we get more subscribers, we can get better equipment. So we'll get try to get better sound to you. Uh, we have, again, we're going to have live events as every Tuesday we possibly can. We're going to get them out there. And as always, please order that book because a lot of the stuff we talk about here is all contained in those pages. It's available as a regular book, an e-book, and an audio book. You can get it at your local bookseller. You can get it at online sellers like Barnes & Noble and Amazon. Thank you so much.